I've got something super cool to show you guys today. This is not gonna be a tutorial. This is not gonna be any sort of formal blender training. I found a video from about eight, nine years ago. I think it was like nine years ago when I basically just got started in hard surface modeling. I was a complete beginner. I'd been using Blender for a couple years, but I was kind of all over the place. And I had finally started on hard surface modeling. And the funny part is, is the first hard surface model I attempted to make, actually it wasn't the first, it was one of the first few. But anyways, one of the first ones I ever made, I actually recorded on video. This was back in like 2.78, 2.79, a really long time ago, almost a decade ago. And I actually have the original footage. I'm gonna show you here in a second. So you can see that like I'm not any sort of magician. I had to go through the process, the same steps as you guys are to learn this stuff. I had a really crappy model. I had to learn everything. I had to improve my design skills. I had to learn every single thing from scratch. And it was a lot harder for me because there wasn't a lot of content for hard surface modeling on YouTube. So you guys are really lucky because you get our stuff that you can just plug into basically. So super cool. I wanna show you this video as a bit of inspiration and just so you can kind of see that, you know, we're all on the same path but you don't need to spend you know eight nine ten years to learn this stuff there's no need we have a ton of videos on our channel but if you just want to fast track everything and master this stuff in the next two to four weeks instead of spending you know years like i had to do definitely check out our hard surface academy program i'll link that in the description at the very least go check it out see what it's about it's meant to fast track your learning in blender and when i say you can master this stuff in two to four weeks i'm not kidding we built the program Program. I know exactly what it can do for you guys. So again, I'll link that in the description, but without further ado, I want to show you this video from like nine years ago. Super cool. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and play it. So I'm not going to show you like the whole video. I think this whole video is like 12 minutes long. I'm just going to kind of piece it up, jump to different areas of the model and just kind of commentate, you know, where my head was almost a decade ago when I was designing this. Now you need to keep in mind that back in this era, right? There was, as far as I know, there was no hard op no box cutter there were no you know traditional weighted normal and techniques like that right like it was all just basic modeling tools we had to use sub d we had to understand topology pretty deeply we just didn't have all the modern workflows we have nowadays we really didn't so that's why you know when people think we should be using like sub d approaches for every single thing that's why i say you know they're still stuck in the past they're so focused on what used to be relevant 10 years ago that isn't necessarily needed anymore right you can also see like this is 2.79 ui guys like it was very basic it wasn't very exciting it was it just looked like a 90s piece of software right and a lot of the buttons looked weird it was just it wasn't the most exciting thing right you guys are so lucky to have you know blender 4.0 with the new ui with all the new tools all the add-ons you guys can use and this is why i just i can't stand people who are complaining that they have to pay such a small fee to get access to these truly life-changing add-ons hard ops box cutter mesh machine machine tools just these basic add-ons that save you thousands of hours of time I didn't have any of these back then I had to use the basic modeling tools I had to use what was given to me and this is why like if you guys are getting into blender now or you have been in the past few years, you're in such a good position because you have so much information. You have our tutorials, right? You have a bunch of different tools you can use. There's just information all over the place. There really is no excuse for you guys to not get good at this stuff. You have every single thing you need at your fingertips. Back when I started this, I didn't. I wasted so much time. You have no idea. And you can kind of see this as you know, you're watching this video, right? And again, I was pretty much a beginner here. I probably wasn't doing things correctly. You can see the model was pretty boring, pretty generic. I think towards the end of this video, you know, you're going to see it floating around in Unity. It was just a very basic, blocky, generic model. And that kind of leads me to the next point. You know, my design skills were non-existent, right? I knew how to model. You can clearly see that. I knew how to use the modeling tools, extrude, do all those basic operations. And most of you watching this video probably know how to do that stuff as well. But I literally had absolutely no idea 
how to actually design, how to create visually appealing shapes, how to create, you know, models that were basically aesthetic to the human eye. You know, this is where a lot of different design rules come into play. And again, there wasn't much information on that stuff back in the day, right? You either had an eye for it or you didn't. It was really that simple. You know, I look back at this almost, you know, almost 10 years ago at this point, and I'm like, good God, I just didn't have any idea what I was doing in terms of design. And again, we have tons of tutorials on our channel. You can learn about design. You can, you know, get in some of our paid programs, learn that way. There's just so much information available. It just, it's just mind boggling to me. You guys are truly in a great time to learn this stuff, really. So I don't want to, you know, spend too much time on this whole video. It's just, you know, basic block out. I kind of want to cut through it and do stuff like that. But this is again, like, close to a decade ago. This is one of the first hard surface models I created. I recorded the whole thing. I managed to find the video and you know, here it is. You're watching it. You're, you're seeing exactly where I was a super long time ago. And you guys just get to skip the line and just shave off literal years of time at this point. So you guys really are lucky. Now I'm going to end the video off here, you know, in just a second, but I do want to mention if you guys want to master hard surface modeling in just two to four weeks, you can literally plug into our system. We've optimize this, you know, since I started hard surface modeling. Every single thing you need to know about hard surface modeling is in the academy. We have a full modeling curriculum, a full design curriculum, a full rendering curriculum. You get access to our material works add-on. You get a full community access. We do weekly calls every single week. It is literally, you're going to have the stuff mastered in two to four weeks instead of two to four years. It's just the easiest way to fast track this stuff. And again, I will link that program in the description. But regardless of what you take from this video, just understand you guys are in a gold mine of information. You have so much at your fingertips. You have different tools, tutorials, stuff like that. And I just wanted to share this with you to show you, you know, kind of how it used to be. And that also I was, you know, in the same position as you. I was learning. I didn't really know what I was doing back then. And you can kind of see there's proof of that. So hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you got a bit of inspiration from it. And that's about it from me. And again, if you're interested, I'll link the Hard Surface Academy in the description. You can check that out. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.